Hello, this is Edward Lambert. This video is part two of three videos on the meridian order of the emotional body. And this video covers the second four steps of the order, which develop expressing a desire into the environment. Steps five and six, find where the desire belongs. Steps seven and eight, externalize the desire in, onto a certain path for its fulfillment. Now the colors in each step correspond to the nature of each meridian. So we'll start here at step five with the bladder meridian. Visualize a sphere of canary yellow color. Now once the desire has the form, this is from step four in the previous video, it presents itself and begins searching its place in the world. So the, the desire is innocent, poetic, seemingly lost. And so it begins to ask, where do I need to go? The desire encounters many people, places, and situations until it can find where it belongs. Now you see over here to the picture to the right, the yellow brick road, yes, it's a coincidence that the, the road is yellow, which corresponds to the yellow canary color of this meridian. Just coincidence, I would say. The emotion is light and intellectually creative. It's intellectually creative because it's this emotion for discovery for trying to find one's place. So you have to ask all these questions. It's an emotional curiosity. So this step does not like isolation, but rather communication. So then we go on to step six with the pericardium meridian. Now you visualize a yellow green color. The desire after searching finds its home. It finds where it belongs. There is an emotional feeling of being in the right place as a palm tree feels at home in tropical climates or an owl in thick forests. The pericardium senses when the desire is in the right place and signals, okay, the desire belongs here. The pericardium monitors the desire to find out where it needs to be. The desire will be nourished by being in the right place. The emotion is an instinctual knowing. The pericardium governs homeostasis in the same way by knowing when things are optimally right. Say, aha, we have hit the right level. This is where we need to be. Now we go on to step seven and eight, and this is externalizing the desire. So once you have where it belongs, you begin to externalize it into the environment. So we start with step seven, the liver meridian. You visualize an emerald green color. Now that one has found their place in the world, they expand with optimism to take on the world to fill their desire. You're in the right place. You have this feeling of support, of being in the right place where people are supporting you. The environment is supporting you. So you begin to think big. There's an emotional freedom to discover, learn, create, theorize, explore opportunities, and philosophize, because you really want to extend your desire. The person seems immature socially like a dreamer. There is a frustration if the person does not want to choose a particular path. They do not want to limit their freedom. But we go on to this next step, step eight, that's with a small intestine meridian, and you have to limit your freedom. You have to choose a particular path. In order to fulfill your desire, you have to focus it in to where it's going to be fulfilled. So you visualize a sphere of blue-green color. Here one chooses a certain path upon which to fulfill their desire. Maybe a job, a partner, a position of responsibility. The emotions are discernment. Discernment to know which path you need to take amongst all these paths in front of you. Concentration, you need to focus, you need to channel and direct your energies responsibility. Now you're taking on a specific area. You're going to manage it so you're responsible. Confidence to execute a job. Separating pure from impure. This is part of the small intestine function of separating pure from impure. This is that discernment emotion that, ex that small intestine is expressing at this, at this step of the order. So a person falls into a set routine to accomplish goals. Actions and desires are channeled toward a specific goal. The true work to fulfill the desire is beginning. So now from here, we're going to go on to the last four steps of the meridian order of the emotional body. And the last four steps are going to deal with fulfilling the purpose of the desire and gathering wisdom from the experience of the desire. 